everybody in this video i'm going to be going over some project ideas that'll actually be fun for you to make and get some real attention for your portfolio most of them are going to be based on apis i covered in my previous videos so if you want some more in-depth information on this stuff be sure to check those videos out first project will be made using the pusher api at the most basic level pusher is great for when you have some kind of data you want to send to users in real time they handle all that infrastructure behind the scenes and stuff that would normally be very complicated and time consuming becomes easy because you just use their API. So some example projects of how you could use this would be, let's say you have a stock market app and you want to be able to show a real time dashboard of the prices and update the charts. With Pusher you can very easily do that and it'll push the data out to every one of your users who have the app open and it'll update that in real time. Another example would be like for ESPN, if you've been on their website, they update scores and stats in real time. So you could do the same thing using Pusher where you get the update on your application and then you send that data to Pusher's API and every user on your website or app will then receive that data. Finally, you could use Pusher's API for something like an online video game. A simple example would be um, like an online chessboard where you have two players connected and they're sharing the same state on the chessboard. So you could update in between those using Pusher's API, or you could do something obviously a lot more complicated, really anything where you have multiple um, users at the same time who need the same data, you can use Pusher to do that. Our next project uses the Open Secrets API to give a bunch of information about politicians. If you want to make some data visualization stuff, this project is really good for that, while also allowing you to make something cool that lots of people will be interested in. So Open Secrets, it compiles all the publicly available information that politicians are required to submit and makes it easy to access. So you can get stuff like their net worth, their assets, their voting record, and pretty much anything else. So something interesting that you could make as a project would be to show the richest members of Congress and you could also track over time with a graph for each member of Congress how much their net worth has changed so you can see if some politician came in broke and is suddenly worth tens of millions of dollars uh, it's a pretty good idea that they're corrupt another thing you could do is show the average net worth of Congress by year so you can see whether overall Congress over the decades has gotten rich which would imply that our government has gotten more corrupt over time. Pretty much with this data, um, you're really only limited by your imagination, so there's a ton of stuff you can do with this. Next up, we're going to make a project that allows you to send real-world mail, like letters and postcards, using just a few lines of code using the Lob API. For this project, my idea is that you can make something that allows users to pre-write letters or postcards that will be sent on a specific date scheduled ahead of time. So for example, uh, you can pre-put in your family members and friends' birthdays and then pre-write a message and then you don't have to worry about forgetting potentially about their birthday and you'll know that that letter is going to be sent on that date and everything's just taken care of automatically. Um, you could also use it to make easy to send invitations for events so you can upload a list like a CSV of addresses, names, and information and then you could use variables to create custom letters for every person and then mass send those letters so if you're setting up like a conference or just any type of party or event you could also do that. Using the API you can allow users to upload text or images for postcards and you'd also need some form of payment processing as well to handle billing for the sending these pieces of mail. You could also combine this with the previous project, the Open Secrets API, and make it easy for people to send letters to their members, their representatives in Congress, and help them get involved much easier with the political process. PushShift is a completely free API that gives you access to all posts or comments on Reddit. So what you can do with it is you can search uh, for any comments or posts containing certain keywords between a set of dates and filter them on a bunch of different metrics like the number of upvotes they have and stuff like that. So the example project in this case you could make a Reddit user analyzer where you take a username as input and then you grab all their posts from the API. You can then use that raw data and compile different results. You could summarize their um, 
total user data. You could show their most popular comments or posts. You could also show like where they post most frequently. You can combine that with some charting library and create a pretty interesting visual. Another option is that you could make a subreddit analysis and then you could take a subreddit name and then show over time the post frequency, the number of subscribers, uh, the most popular posts, stuff like that. So pretty much, again, this is another really versatile API where you're really only limited by your imagination. The final project for this video will be making an online reputation management tool using the Webhose API, which collects information across the internet and makes it easily accessible through their API. For this project, you're going to create an app that allows non-technical users to input a few keywords through a UI, and then using the Webhose API, it will track brand names or mentions of those keywords which you could combine with something like Twilio to then notify people when they've been mentioned online. The types of people would use this are those working in customer service, marketing, or public relations. Uh, pretty much every company now wants to be aware, be aware of what people are saying about them online, so it's a tool that people would actually find useful and would look very good on your resume. That's it for this video. I'll be putting out some more videos with project ideas, so be sure to subscribe if you're interested.